Hi guys, how's it going? And today we are back with another match day vlog. Today we face Burton Albion away from home. It's a massive game in our season. It's pretty much a must win for both sides. Burton coming off the back of two one all draws. One of them against Peter Ross, so pretty impressive. They're on a bit of a new manager bounce after the sack of Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, of course, after a poor start to the season for them. But they're starting to regain a bit of form and promising signs at the Pirelli Stadium for them. Um, they'll probably be the more confident going into today, to be honest. Obviously, we come in off the back of a 4-1 loss last Saturday. Of course, we did lose as well on Tuesday, but take that with a pinch of salt. We played the youngsters. It's a tough one. The last two times we've played each other, it's been one all, and it's been very even games on both occasions. And you know what? I'm going to go for a one all again. I, 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 It's just got one all written all over it, to be honest. But I'd take a point, but I think... Out, out of the next three games, we have to win two. You know, we play uh, three out of the bottom four. Massive, massive three games coming up. So, if it, it, to be honest, we need to win two out of three, in my opinion. But yeah, if I'm going to give a score prediction, like I said, one all. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Thank you for all the support of late and all the interactions. It truly means the world. And it's good to know that you boys are enjoying the vlogs. Thank you for all the comments and stuff like that. You boys coming up to me on match day saying that you enjoy the vlogs means the world and it means i'm doing something right so much appreciated if you do go on to enjoy today's video please do smash like and subscribe we are at the time of filming there's 25 subscribers away from 1.5k crazy stuff so if you could help me on the road to that that would be massively appreciated but yeah without further ado let's head to the train station to head to burton hello welcome back to the Bradley stadium this is our third home game this week are wearing rainbow armbands and it's all symbolic of our support of the ring. Right then, so the Lions are now out and oh my god, where is Charlie Brown? Seriously, what more does Charlie Brown have to do to that star? I will never know. Um, madness. Freeston playing left wing back as well. Norton starting. Other than that, it's decent, but it's just, I don't get what Charlie Brown has to do to get a start. Burton squad is strong, pretty similar to usual for them, of course. Victor Adjabejo, what a player he is. And he's just almost guaranteed to score today because he's on form. And every on form striker always scores against Chelsea. So it's raining the stars. But yeah, fingers crossed that we can pull a result from somewhere. We can hide. But yeah, it's good to kick off. But, uh, Go on, boys. We love you, and that's the way we follow, follow, follow. We spot the shadow, shadow, shadow. That's the way we like it, like it, like it. That's a goal. Oh. Too easy, lads. Oh my days, what is that? This is this is woeful. Come on. Oh, 
Come on, lads. Well then, no, give him a shout. Oh my days. Right then, half time, Burton Albion at nil, Charlton Town at nil, and honestly, this might be the flattest game of football I have been to potentially in my life. The quality from both sides was absolutely abysmal, the atmosphere is absolutely abysmal, it, it literally is woeful in every aspect. Um, Burton have been the better of the two sides, of course they got a penalty, but it was, it, even the penalty was terrible. It's a good save from Southwood to be fair, but lacked power, wasn't really placed too well either. The, the quality is impeccable. Uh, you could cut the sarcasm with a knife, but I mean, things need to improve. I think Ben Williams, since he's come on, he's struggling a bit. Um, Dan and who's doing all right. Jackson's doing all right as well. Freeston doing well. I think the defence needs to work together a bit more is the only thing I'd say. But we'll see what happens in the second half. But if we don't get something from this game, I'll be very disappointed because no disrespect to Burton. But they're not great. Um, and the performance so far from them has not been great. Probably in contrast to their previous performances, it's fair to say. So... Fingers crossed for a better second half. But yeah, let's get back out there. Oh, he's, he's, going for the, he's going for the speedy way. Make it, make it mean. He's watching it. <laughs> Come on, boys. Shit. <laughs> because I went for a piss again. What did you have to say, Tyler? Didn't see it. Didn't see it. There we go. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. No, I missed the goal because of my tiny brother. Brilliant. Victor at the Bayejo. What a surprise. I did say he'd score. We're crap. 
पड़े Deserve a button, fair play. Um, haven't been able to see the goal yet. Hopefully, uh, in the vlog, there'll be a clip of the goal from someone, somewhere. Um, I'm gonna go on to Twitter about that one. I can't really apologise. Um, I am, to be perfectly honest, um, struggling to defend Wade. I don't think I can. I don't think I want to. Um, no game plan, no tactics, that's bad enough. We've already had that. But dragging away players who are, you know, talking to the fans and saying, like, you know, we're sorry, it's a poor performance, we understand. And, you know, they're genuinely talking to the fans and, and building a bond with the fans. And you drag them away and say nothing to the fans yourself, that is an absolute disgrace. And... Unfortunately, today, Wade, as I've said, will happen eventually, but it's happened a lot quicker than I hoped. Wade Elliott has lost the fans. It's as simple as that. And the balance of his attitude on top of his tactics and, and, and way of doing things is absolutely all over the gaff. So I'm probably going to do a video on my thoughts on the Wade Elliott situation. I think it needs to be done. But we've got another match to vlog out tomorrow. Um, another ground hop Aston Villa versus Bramford so looking forward to that one but I'm baffled I've got nothing else to say um, apologies that it's sending on a dull note but nothing nothing to say much love have a class rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one justice for Tommy Cromie